Abdullahi Salihu once resided in Lokogoma in Lokoja, the Kogi state capital, before moving to Felele to join his cousin Idris Yusuf, who gave him a place to live with members of his family. Together, the cousins gradually achieved their dream of giving their children Western education to enable them have a better future. But their plans are cut short in the most horrific way after Wednesday's tanker explosion that killed at least 28 people, with six of their children among the casualties. Abdullahi lost four of his children to the inferno, while Idris lost two. It takes efforts from friends, clergymen and family members to console them. <laughs> Yet Idris cannot hold back the tears as he tries to recount the event of that fateful day. My daughter, before she left, she tried to call my number for the doctor. Uh, uh, she tried to call my number before I read it, before she give up, give up. Then after that, I will go back to where people die again. They say they don't carry the boy go this specially. And already is there, he's already in there. It's too much to bear for their wives, the mothers of the six children. Both are in the hospital, yet to wake up from coma since the unfortunate incident. I go to the, their school, confirm from there, they say they are not yet coming. From there, I rush to where the accident happened. Before I see my children, she affected about four of them. In the meantime, the Kogi State Police events. Command is investigating Everybody. the circumstances leading to the explosion, looking for clues about the ownership of the tanker. Police actually went into investigation immediately. Um, all the dead were removed. Uh, we used the FRC personnel to move them to the hospitals. And then even the injured were also taken to hospitals. And I think at the end of everything, what we have for now is that uh, 28 people died in that uh, uh, inferno, and then about two others were injured. The wreckage of the burned vehicles are still on the scene, and until it's cleared, it will continue to haunt relatives of those who died, and a reminder to many residents that anyone could have been caught up in the unfortunate incident. Oh, no, no, no.